Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. Remember way earlier in the game when we fought Gilgamesh the first time and he escaped deeper into the Lucy Mines? Well, there's only one spot left for us to check. <laughs> How long I've waited! Again. For boss time! Okay, so same thing as before, but obviously a lot harder. Uh, let's see, Gilgamesh has no buffs, so let's just debuff Enkidu and take him out first. Uh, one thing I've done with my party members is... Okay, yeah, we're now on multiple levels here. So uh, one thing I've done with my party members is that I've equipped everyone with cameo belts, because as we all know, I hate missing my enemies when I'm hitting them. So, got those, because uh, Enkidu can parry or block or whatever your attacks. So, uh, and obviously, take them out first. I've also uh, disabled Berserk on Fran, because this is going to be a tough battle. We might need her to revive someone periodically, or heal, or whatever. So, I think that's a, a good idea here. And, uh, ow! Yeah, once again, uh, Gilgamesh has some good stuff to steal, so uh, we'll get to that soon enough when he transforms. And apparently they can petrify me. Hmm. Maybe I should have made some uh, gold needle gambits. We're going to run into a lot of enemies who can uh, petrify you in the post-game. Eventually I'll make a gambit for it, but uh, I just didn't think I needed it right now. All right, got him. Or at least we got Enkidu. So, okay, so now we don't really need the uh, cameo belts anymore. So let's equip bubble belts. Uh, the reason, even though I have uh, bubble cast on everyone and I've got gambits for that for everyone, the reason why I want bubble belts is so that way when we die, and we will, will uh, the arise spell will restore you to max HP with bubble already in effect, so you don't have to risk them dying before we can reestablish the bubble status there. As long as we keep everyone alive, it should be re relatively easy. a test of your strength, mortals. A prelude, if you will. The real contest begins now. I.e., your weapons are as good as mine. What are you going to do? Pull another arm out of your ass? Let's see. No buffs. Okay, we're still good. I'm pretty lucky here with my levels. Uh, none of my levels are a multiple of 2, 3, or 4. So we're all level 50, 55, and there is no level 5 uh, spell in this game, I don't think. Is it? I don't think there is. I know there's a level prime ability, but I don't think there's a level 5 one, so we're pretty good. I did pull another arm out of his ass. How bad could this possibly be? Oh, that only hit Fran. Well, that wasn't so bad. I was afraid that was going to hit everyone. Again? That was fast. He does that all day. We're finished. But I think we should be fine. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll take care of this. I don't want you getting stoned there, Fran. You remember what happened last time? Yeah, that, that didn't end well. I love it when you use these level abilities, because they do nothing. If, you, if your level is a multiple of 2, 3, or 4, obviously take the time to equip... Yeah, I'm on camera belt. I'm tired of missing this guy. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if your level is a multiple of whatever he's doing to you, obviously go to your equip menu, equip the proper accessory that can block it uh, before it actually hits you. Or set up gambits, but uh, I'd rather just put the accessories uh, Let's see, a good... Uh, yeah, I think we need the new. So. There we go. 
did it work? Okay, now in Gilgamesh's fourth form, now we can actually steal something good from him. So let's get a few scuffs. I didn't think uh, Gilgamesh could parry your attacks, but I guess I was wrong. Alright, we got the Genji Helm from him. That was good. But, uh, okay, I was going to say I didn't think you needed the cameo belts for Gilgamesh. I thought you only needed them for Enkidu, but, uh, I guess I was wrong. So, oh well. Yeah, make sure, obviously, you keep all your buffs up. Eventually, I will want to use the Zerg on Fran, but, uh, not yet, not yet. I guess we're gonna have to uh, rely on our Bubble Gambit, I'm afraid. Oh well. I was hoping you could use the Bubble Bells, but no! Gilgamesh doesn't want me to have Bubble. Uh, Bubble yourself, Ash. Or... Quick, mortals! You face the Blade of Legend! And for those who don't know, that is, uh, Erdrich's sword, or the Loto sword that he's holding there. That one I remember. Now, in his fifth and final form, uh, I want to use Berserk on Fran before he gets his, uh, or not. Okay, uh, I was hoping I could kill him before he gets his, uh, paling up, but I guess I couldn't do that. So... Yeah, Berserk probably not, wasn't a good idea. Oh, it didn't even, uh, hit her. Okay, good, good. Uh, heal, 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 heal! Okay, Gilgamesh, you, you got her. You got her. She's, she's dead. You can, you can stop now. But yeah, now we're gonna want Bubble Bell, so that way I can revive Ash at, uh, Max HP. a lot of swords for one attack. Oh, the paling wore off already. Oh, okay. I was go I was being quiet because I was expecting to uh, edit that out. But uh, huh. I was going to use like reverse and stop like I did the last time. But uh, okay, steal before. Okay, there we go. We get the Genji armor, which I don't think is better than the Maximilian, if I recall correctly. I don't think it's that good, but. Well, I figured I'd just steal it because it's unique. It's the only way you can get it, and it's relatively easy. Let's get haste going on everyone, if I can. And let's see. Let's get Berserk going on Fran now. And the Renew gone. Yeah, we want to kill him before... Uh, he gets another paling up, so that's one reason why I want to use Berserk. And hopefully he'll keep on using those level abilities. That would be nice. How do we lose haste already? Oh, Ash died, and all my gamuts are uh, targeting her. Well, fair enough. Okay, so now what I want to do... Uh, let's get a cameo belt on just Fran, because she's the one with Berserk, and I do want her to actually hit him. Oh man, I loved the eagle eye, uh, element in Chrono Cross. That was so good. Ow. Dying was not so good. Hmm. Keeps on hitting Fran. Maybe I should get Decoy on Bosch there, so that way he'll, uh, leave her alone. And, uh, let's get a Renew going, because he's probably going to, yeah, deal more damage. Fine. Renew. Renew. Heal. 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 Or not. It's a nice touch that they still brought back the, uh, Gilgamesh theme for the last battle with him, instead of some special theme, or other theme. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, Bosh. Bye. So much for, uh... Yeah. I've almost got it! Come on! I'm saying so much for decoy. Yeah. Get Berserk back on yourself there, Fran. Yeah, his combo rate is, like, way jacked up because he's almost dead. So, uh... 
Yeah, I, I don't want you dying there. So, uh, well, we'll get him sooner or later. One of your attacks has to hit him, even without the cameo belts. Uh, goodbye, friend. Oh, oh, okay, you can survive, I guess. Why not? But anyway, what did what missed you? Oh, that uh, level ability, right? Uh, yeah, renew. I don't want to take a chance. Or we could just kill him. And he dies. Just jumped off the edge of the island. Oh, there we go. Hooray! We took him out. Oh, but the side quest is not over yet, viewers. Not by a long shot. Oh, no. We've got, uh, well, a lot more to do. But, uh, well, now that we've defeated Gilgamesh. Or, no, no, wait. Gilgamesh vanquished! Sorry. I forgot to say that. Okay, well, now that we've defeated him, uh, we can turn in the hunt to Mont Blanc. So, can we take the sword? Game. Okay. Well, it's the Loto sword. Just take my word for it. Okay, well, I'll just meet you back at Robin Oster and uh, turn in the hunt with Mount Blanc, then. Hey, well, he's still around. Hmm? What's going on? <laughs> okay, we're back at the Clan Hall, or Clan Centurio, or whatever this place is called. I don't know. But anyway, well, we didn't kill him, but, uh, well, we avenged your comrade, I guess. And for completing this hunt, we get the Masamune. All right. The most powerful katana in the game. Uh, it has a massive combo rate. So, I mean, it's really good. Highest combo rate in the game, I think. If I recall correctly, maybe one of the ultimate weapons is better, but it... It takes forever to get them. So anyway, let's get the Masamune license for everyone there and equip it. Yeah, it's not really that much stronger than what we had before there, but uh, well, it's the best you can get. I really like the Masamune because of its high combo rate. And it's almost as powerful as the uh, the Sword of the Queen, or Queen, whatever that sword is called. I but, uh, okay, well, that's everything we can do there with that hunt. But, uh, there's another side quest that we can move along with. Remember, we were doing, uh, again, earlier in the game when I got that, uh, what is it? That special fishing rod for that guy back at the, uh, South Bank Village there. Well, now that we've defeated Gilgamesh, we can move along with that. So, let's go take care of it. Yeah, for some reason, you can't... Well, what you gotta do is you gotta fish some new items out of the water or whatever. And for some reason, you can't get them until after defeating Gilgamesh. I wonder why that is. Well, we'll learn why soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. But anyway, yeah, just teleport to the... Damasca Estrasian. The South Bank Village, essentially. Let's go fishing again. Maybe I can get it on the first try. If not, I'll get it off screen. Whatever. But anyway, we've uh, I've already unlocked the upstream area off screen. In order to unlock it, you gotta successfully get perfect scores on the smaller ones over and over and over again. So, yeah, same thing as before, but it does get a little more challenging here. So, gotta be careful. Be prudent. Uh, oh, whew. I'm gonna screw that one up. Wait, I'm huh? All right, I think that should be the last one. There's six of them, and then one that's a freebie. If you got the other six perfectly, so I've gotten pretty good at this game with Simon. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Kind of a weird way to go fishing, but I've seen far more annoying ways. So, you could sell the fish if you really want, but anyway, for... Alright! I got it! 
Well, I got the first one. But essentially, what you can do, once you've defeated Gilgamesh, you fish at the upstream area, and you have a random chance of getting a special item. Let's check it out. There's a message in there that's just gibberish. Well, the way you're supposed to de decipher the message is you got to catch four other bottles. There's a green one, a red one, a yellow one, and a black one. Put them all together, and you get a message. What does it say? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. I'm going to catch the remaining battles off screen, and then we'll see what they say. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.